It's time for Animal of the Week. This week it's the Kahansi Spray Toad, and I hope I'm pronouncing Kahansi right. These toads are sadly most well known for being completely extinct in the wild due to habitat loss. Because of this, I'm going to mix up the usual structure of these episodes and talk only about their habitat and why they have gone extinct in the wild. Kahansi Spray Toads lived solely in a 2 hectare area in Tanzania and were found nowhere else on Earth. Two hectares is an insanely small area to contain an entire species. It may be hard to visualise how small this is, but hopefully this will help. This rugby pitch is roughly one hectare, so the entire Kahansi species of toad lived inside an area the size of only two rugby pitches. The entire species in such a small area was one of the reasons for the toad's quick and complete extinction in the wild. The actual environment of the two hectare area was wetland and lay right at the base of the Kahansi River waterfall. This was perfect for the spray toads, as the spray from the waterfall created a microclimate of around 100% humidity and a constant temperature that the toads needed. This waterfall spray is what gives the toads the spray in their name. However, this lush utopian environment for these toads was sadly destroyed, which caused the extinction of the species in the wild. The habitat destruction that occurred was because of the construction of the Kahansi Dam, as dams go, this one was not that large, and cost around $272 million to build. It did cause a great deal of environmental damage, but to try to present all the facts, the dam does produce around 13% of Tanzania's total electricity, so it's up to you whether it was worth it. The dam cut off around 90% of the water flow into the gorge where the toads lived, which caused a massive reduction in spray that the frogs needed. To try to combat this, a sprinkler system was set up to try to keep the area humid and keep the toads alive, however this system was not functional when the dam opened in 2000, and the toad numbers suffered. In 2003 however, the population rose again to around 20,000 individuals, before then sharply declining to only 5. This crash occurred due to the sprinkler system breaking down during the dry season, leaving the frogs with little to no water the dam opening to flush out sediment, flooding the gorge with water full of pesticides, and a disease called chytridiomycosis appearing in the area, all simultaneously hitting the small 2 hectare area where the toads lived. Chytridiomycosis is caused by a fungus and occurs mainly in hot temperatures. The outbreak most likely occurred within the Kahansi spray toad population because of the lack of water from the waterfall. As I said previously, the waterfall spray kept the area at a constant temperature, but during the outbreak, the lack of water from either the waterfall or the sprinkler system caused a temperature increase, which helped the outbreak of the disease. The disease is thought to have gotten to the toads from the boots of workers and environmentalists who came to the area at the time. Outbreaks of the disease still plague the captive breeding facilities where spray frogs are being bred. What the fungus actually does is it invades the outer skin and keratin layer, and from there it is thought to kill the toads and other amphibians that get the disease by destroying the membrane and therefore upsetting osmotic balance of the frog. However, this is just the leading theory and we aren't entirely sure if that's what kills them. Though this toad is extinct in the wild, all hope is not lost. There are many captive breeding programs working to breed new populations, and in 2017 there was an attempt to introduce them to Tanzania. Hopefully we'll see these toads back in the world and completely self-sufficient, but that will take time. For now at least they aren't completely extinct. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.